I personally like that kind of tiny little team of rocks uh, kind of staying and uh, standing there and breaking the river into several other tiny little uh, streams. I think this is also something that kind of creates a little some some sort of a pattern something distinguished from the rest of the image something you can't see in any other place in the rest of the image so it automatically attracts your eye you know it, it brings you right there you'll see later because we will change that a little bit more because it's quite similar to other patterns that you can see so here I'm just trying to keep with this whole vibe of the story, you know, like a, this is an abandoned place. This is it doesn't seem to be like a place that's usually visited by people or anything like that. It's rather something I would say ancient. Maybe there was people here at some point, but there's no one here anymore because of some reason, which we're about to find out, right? Now I'm trying to get some more effects in there, like I'm enhancing the color of that lighting. And not only of the lighting, that like the main point, the main, let's call it daylight, right? Because even though this is a cave, yeah, I know, it's a cave, but it might have some sort of like a crack or something in the ceiling. So there's like this awesome lighting coming in. Sometimes you just paint stuff and then you think of a way to make it like it makes makes sense lore wise. And sometimes it's just the opposite. Sometimes you just think of the idea and then you paint it. And actually, it's like a closed cycle. You know, it's it goes back and forth between the ideas you have in your head and the way you interpret the stuff that's already being painted uh, without even thinking. At this point, <clears throat> you could simply just duplicate the layer, change uh, the new duplicated layer with this hue kind of option and then apply a mask to it, right? And then you can decide to keep this color only in a certain area of the image or let's say maybe you wanted to make this uh, the light red or something. Well, then just keep that area, you know, and then you merge merge the layers again or... I mean, this is a... This is a... Cre the creative process, guys, is really, really chaotic sometimes until you get to master it. Once you mastered it, is it's amazing. It's once you know the tools, it's just crazy. So I'll see you in the next lecture, guys. Mm -hmm.